going to show you how to take a great photo with the big bass you just caught. Welcome back to the Guggen Lab. So you want to get a great photo, but the most important thing is you want to make sure to take care of the fish that you're catching. And you want them to look really healthy and lively for your photo. So the first thing you want to do after you catch a fish, and you know it's a good one, obviously if you have a live well in your boat for fishing out of a boat, Go ahead and put that fish in the live well. Make sure there's water already in there before you put the fish in. Put your aerators on, all of that. Keep that fish healthy. So then you can take your time, get your camera, get your phone out, and then take a photo. Now, if you're fishing on the bank, like we were today, we just caught this fish, we wanna hold that fish in the water while we get situated. The fish is gonna be way healthier looking in the photo, and obviously, it's gonna live, it's gonna reproduce, and go make some more big bass for you. So I'm gonna hold the fish in the water, keep its gills wet with one hand. I always keep my phone in my pocket, uh, most people do. So you have that hand free to go ahead and take a selfie of the fish. I also keep an action camera on me, like this GoPro. So I can take that off, put it on self timer, I can set it on the bank, or I can just hold it in my hand and get a photo with the fish. Now the best thing that you can do is just ask a buddy. If you got a buddy with you, that's how you're gonna get your best photo. But I'm gonna show you how to properly hold the fish and make it look big and really, really nice. So I just got my phone out. I'm gonna figure out the direction of the sun. So we want the sun facing us when we take a photo. So my sun is over here. I'm gonna put my camera towards the sun facing back at me and that way I get good light on my fish. The other thing that you want to do when you hold your fish up is make sure that it's fully broadside. So you're getting the broad width of the fish. You don't want to turn it like this or like this. Face it really broad and you got to hold that arm out. Make that fish look big. Just enough where you get the, the head to the tail in the photo. But if you hold your arm out like this, it's going to make it look bigger. So any fish that's like over seven pounds, I'll, I'll hold it by the tail as well because a really big bass, they put in a lot, you're putting a lot of weight on their jaw if you're just holding it with your hand. But a bass like this that's under five pounds, you just hold it with one hand and it's fine. The other thing you don't want to do is overextend your wrist on this fish. So if I'm holding the fish like this, it's fine. But if I crank back on that fish's jaw with its weight hanging down, it's going to hurt its jaw. So you just want to hang it vertically like that. And the most important thing you can do is be quick about it. You're not always going to get the best photo when you're by yourself, but just make sure you're taking care of the fish so someone else can catch it and get a good photo as well. All right, we're going to let this fish go now. Held it in the water as much as possible. Quickly held it out for a photo. Got a few good pics, and now it's off to let this fish go reproduce. See you, baby. Woo, that's a good one right there. All right, y'all, and that's how you take a great photo with the big fish that you just caught. If you want to see more tips and tricks right here, subscribe to the Guggen Lab.